Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to um, capture your screen or games or any other thing on uh, Windows 8, as you can see, I'm on Windows 8, and you'll be getting this thing right here, Open Broadcast Software, and so, oops, wrong button. So let's close that. So what you're gonna need to do is first go to your internet, and we'll full screen that. And you're gonna want to search for Open Broadcast or Software, and then you're gonna want to go to this. Um, you can click that download, or just go to this, click download, and then here now before you do anything. Download is the 32-bit. If you're on Windows 32-bit, click Download. If you're on Windows 64, click Binaries. And then, as you'll see, it'll just start the 64-bit download. So we'll get out of that. So then, once you do that, you'll have in your files or wherever you saved it, mine's just in Downloads, you'll have this installer. You want to click it, and you're going to want to right-click, and you're going to want to run or open or run as administrator whatever you want to do just click open and then um you're going to want to do all the things it's going to say like okay agree and then it'll download and then it'll say installed and finish and then you're going to want to click finish and then that will put this little icon on your thing and you can pin it to start and all that it's a regular icon and then you can go in, and as you can see, when you first get in, it's going to go black for a sec, but seen, it'll be black. Okay, so you probably can't see anything, but if I go back to tut, and if I go to test, tutorial, and then scene is black. Now to add a new one, press that and put add scene to remove one. Are you sure do you want to delete this scene? No, because I had that selected. Okay, so I don't want to do that. And then the sources, add source, and just call it the same thing. So this is tut for tutorial, this is tut for tutorial. Now, you can either make a video or live stream. To live stream, you go to broadcast settings, and it'll already be set as this. So it'll look like this. So you go to this, you go to settings, broadcast, but instead of this, it'll be like this. And you can do all this stuff, and you'll have things like this, and you can put in different things like, um, if you have a Twitch account, you can do stuff like that, and see stream key and server and all that, and you'll have different things, see, like YouTube, you have Twitch, t slash Justin TV, you have your YouTube, so you can stream with this recording server software and this will be the thing that comes up as but if you go to file output only put a place to put the files and then do like um things so like if you go to browse this we want to actually not we want to delete this because I would just uh close file and try again uh cancel we want to name this Tut and then save. Settings won't be applied until next time you can say cancel. So that's how you do that, but that'll just be whatever it is. And then as you can see, this is my talking. So if I stop and I start, it's like that. And then this, if I had like music playing in the background or something picked up by something different than the mic. Uh, let's just go see if we can turn anything on. Ah, actually, it's fine. So, yeah, and then you just click, it'll say start streaming, or it says stop streaming here, but if I click that, then I'll end the video, and I'll have to do another video to add on to it, and I don't want to do that. So, and then preview stream, even if it says, like, if you, if you have it as a video, so, like, if you had it as settings, uh, broadcast settings, and you have file output, which is just a regular record it, edit it, upload it, not a stream, it'll still say, it'll be called streaming, because that's what this is used for, but you can use it as a video maker. And then, um, preview stream will just, 
it'll be black, and then if you press preview stream and you have it set up right, it will show with the scene and all. It'll show you on screen. And because if you're doing the desktop with this open, it glitches out and makes like a, like a window, like never ending effect. That's fine. That happens all the time. That's what's supposed to happen because the way it works is it's recording this over here, like all this, but it's also recording the recorder itself, which has the window open to this one, which has this, which has a window open. So it'll do the never ending effect. Don't worry, it isn't broken or something, because that's actually what I thought when I first got this. So if you might think I'm stupid for saying that, I might just be stupid for thinking that. But so yeah, and then that's basically it. Um, so, and here it shows frames per second, I'm at 30, drop frame 0, and then time is right here. So I've been doing this for 6 minutes. So, yeah, that's about it. And I can click save and exit, settings, stuff like that, profiles, untitled, help, and things like that. So, yeah, thanks guys. Oh, and one more thing, just to show you, you can do this on um, broadcast settings. You can do things, so like for instance, on the number pad, my start stream is the plus key above enter, and the end stream hotkey is the minus sign above it. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Let's see ya. Hockey guy 78 out.